What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Brothers, today I want to deal with our brother Ray J and Princess Love. Now, they break up like every 35 seconds, family. Um, and, and, and some of us believe that if you got to keep getting split up, then you don't need to be together. That's just me. But, you know, like I said, the whole struggle of concept, if you like it, I love it. But, you know, for me as black men, you know, uh, living in the States and stuff like that, you know, as brothers, we, we, we want to have an easier life if we can if we can do it. And if we can't just get the hell away from us. But Ray J, as a brother, he's a little feminine in his actions. I'm not calling him challenges his sexuality, but he argues like, you know, he's, he's, he's a little feminine in, in some of the ways he acts, right? Now, Love and Hip Hop, his wife said, Princess Love, she has done many different things trying to get him from cheating. Things like threesomes. And she's even accused him of cheating. And he's saying, every time I've done something, you was there with me in the bed doing it. So it ain't like, you know, we wasn't doing it. And, it. and of course, she said that she's done it with him. This is not uncommon for entertainers. All right. And they come from this sort of lifestyle. We got to understand a guy like Ray J has been around the block a lot of times. Guys that come from the more of the conventional world. Um, when we get into, you know, some of the stuff and money. Let me just say this about entertainers that I know. Entertainers have a lot more opportunities to do freakier stuff. Average entertainers. Because a lot of women they deal with are open to that. If you're a guy, you're in the health industry, you're in finance, you're not really coming across those kind of chicks. Um, they can do it, but you know that they might not want to do it up front. The entertainment industry, being in the entertainment industry, I see it on the side. After going through medical school and then being in entertainment, even on YouTube, I see the opposite side. And it's way easier to get women to go ahead and do stuff like that. If I was just like a millionaire doctor or something like that, or a millionaire lawyer, it's probably a little bit easier on the side, right? Knowing that that's the kind of culture that, you know, that, that, that Ray J is coming from. Athletes are coming from. They don't live the same rules as normal guys. So the women who understand that, because she did it, Floyd Mayweather, she already knows what's up. The kind of guy that I might want to deal with, he might want me to deal with other women. Fine. So then you do it. You having threesomes. You doing all the freaky stuff. Whatever, right? But then guess what? That's not enough. The fundamental question comes in as to why it's not enough, right? Because she said it's not enough. Whatever I do for him, not enough. The reality is that the sex wasn't the issue. And I'm not blaming her because Ray J seems to be a kind of hard person to get along with anyway. But a lot of times with men, the sex isn't really the problem. And I want women to understand that. If a man really loves you, can I just be honest, brothers? He tired of screwing you probably anyway, to be real. Okay? Most guys... When they come home, and if they've been dealing with you for like six, seven months, eight months, okay, all right, yeah, all right, you know, I got some in-house and all that, but that's, I'm not really, because I can get that anytime. I can get that anytime. When I get up in the morning, I'm not getting up in the morning because I felt like I'm going to get some good, you know, from the back when I get home all the time. I'm doing it because I have a dedication to you. I feel that I love you. I feel that you're committed to me. And it's good that we have sex and all of that, but that's not the main issue. You are making me feel like a man needs to be felt. You're making me feel like I'm a leader. You're making me feel like I'm a man. Now, part of that, I'm going to be real, man, because Brother Ray J has a little bit of feminine energy. Do you know how to be a man? And this is what I'm learning about a lot of brothers. Um, just because you have money don't make you a man, brother. And, and, and this is something that we got to understand. A lot of our black men have figured, have, have don't know how to lead, how to be masculine. There are going to be days, and I keep trying to tell black men, I've been in a situation, I've learned, I'm learning. Women are going to be petty, 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 and at times, I'm going to just say this, you ain't supposed to be petty. They're supposed to be able to act a fool and be immature, and you're not supposed to react. I'm sorry, I'm just going to be, it's going to just be real. A lot of black men don't, see, we're in a position so much in the manosphere that when women start doing crazy stuff or things we don't like, then we have to give a response. And see, that's not how you win with women. This is not. Because we, we start getting into a tit for tat and then that just makes it worse. Women either got to be ignored or explained. When they want to get a tit for tat, leave them alone. Or they got to get replaced. That's it. 
But once we start going there and because they're petty, then we start being petty. And then we both in our feminine energy and stuff and it doesn't work like that. Okay. So a woman has to be taught. And I'm just going to be real, man, especially in the black American community. They don't know how many sisters don't know how to respect a man. And, and part of that is because as brothers, we, we're not operating in the divine masculinity that God gave us. So it's up to us to, to, to when they're acting a fool, if they're going to do that, let them be hey in an immature way if they want to do that and leave them alone while they're doing that and then make them come back and be an adult when they want to deal with you now every woman gonna do that but some of them do okay and then that is how you start getting your treatment and that's how it goes with any woman and as an og i'm telling you that's how it works women when they start acting up and you start responding in a way that's acting up with her it makes it worse but that is your position as a man to be able to, and brother Ray J hasn't learned that. So you, you getting your buttons pushed. The reality is if the sister would be what he wants her to be as far as how he, cause he's a, he's a, he's in his feminine and I understand that, but it's the way he treats her. You, you treat the man. Everything in long-term relationships come back to treatment. You know, just in, in the business community as blacks, we would get so much further along by treating our people with some decency, even with, even with black women. You got women right now who got videos about me on YouTube saying all kinds of stuff. If I were to see them in real life or whatever, I'm going to speak to them with in, 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 in hello, how you doing, whatever. I'm not going to have, why? Because I'm going to be in my masculine. Just because they're acting the way, I'm not going to have attitude with them. I'm going to be the man that God called me to be regardless of what they're doing. And now that's why Ray J has a problem with her. You don't know how to deal with the man. And as a woman, you gotta learn how to deal with the man because the sex thing is okay, but you can't get along with him. You're a beautiful woman. You look good, you got a lot of, you got a lot of good stuff going for you. Beautiful, she's a beautiful young lady. Can't get, the, but the man don't want him to do, the, you can't get along with the man. Why? We're dealing with you don't know how to, uh, how, where does man's button at? Once you, as men, understand and teach this woman where she needs to be dealing with you at, then she can she can serve your needs. And all your needs not gonna be sexual. We gotta get out of that. Oh man, well she need to do X, Y, and Z. And woo woo. No, she don't. Because you're gonna get tired of that anyway. You're gonna get tired of just, um, having all these sexual intercourses with her. You're gonna get tired of that. How about how the woman acts every day? What is her relationship and standards and boundaries that you require from her? Then she understands what they are. We can now we're getting somewhere. And that's where we see a lot of our people as blacks. We having a problem with that because the issue ain't going to never really be it ain't enough sex. Some of y'all can get together there and, and screw all day and can't get along. Obsidian calls it hate screwing in black America. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out. Thank you.